In this tutorial, I'm going to show you which files to edit in the video player sample within the Roku SDK. Let's get started. In the previous tutorial, I talked about which directories to put your files in. If you've been following me, your directory will look something like this. The model of your Roku player and the SDK files that you downloaded. I've taken the liberty to download the video player sample and here is the structure of that uh, example. We know that there's artwork, there's nothing really in there, there's images which we'll talk about later that make up your channel, the manifest which is very important, the readme document and the source files. You'll see an XML folder here, it's empty, we won't need it, that was just supplied uh, by Roku. In the source folder, there's one particular file we want to look at, and that one is category feeds. If we open category feeds up, there's a lot of code in here. The one line that we should be concerned about is this line of code right here, the con URL prefix. Notice that Roku has given their default URL. In this line, you're going to change it to your domain. We talked about that earlier when you're uh, selecting uh, a CDN or a website domain to host your files. The example I have will be number three. I'm going to change this to my domain. And make sure my file path is correct. And I think I'm all set here. So in your domain, you, your domain will be here, followed by your directory path, and everything else should be the same. If you don't have examples three, that's fine, as long as you have a folder to put your video player folder in, and then your XML folder. Remember, in the XML folder, you're going to have two files, the categories and the mine. We're going to edit those two next. OK, let's edit two XML files. These are the two XML files that are going to reside on your domain inside the video player folder inside XML. So in my directory here, I have the name of my Roku device. And then these are the two files that I'm going to edit in a second and then upload to my uh, service provider or my CDN. Let's start with categories because that gives you the basic structure of what the Roku will be pointing to in these URLs. So I'm going to open it up in Xcode, since I'm on a Mac. And if you look at the code here, let me stretch that out a little bit for you. Here is the category leaf, the title that's going to show up in the Roku channel, a little description. Here's the URL for the images that's going to appear on the channel, which I will show you a little bit later. And here's what's important here, the feed URL. If you notice here, here's my URL. This is what we changed, remember, in the categories.brs uh, file. And look where it's pointing at. It's looking at the next XML file that we have to change. This file gives you the URLs for all the videos that's going to appear on your channel. Let's take a look at that. But make sure you change this to your domain. So on your code, on your side, you should change everything up to here because this is my directory you might have changed it you might have a different directory so just make sure that you change everything up to here and then everything else here should be the same let's open up the mind and you don't have to name these files the same way but since they're already in the SDK I would say leave it the way it is so let's look at the items here in an XML feed, you, know, you have different tags. So in here, we have this one item. All this line of code right here is just one video that's going to appear on your channel. Here's the link to the SD images. Here's the link to the HD images. A title, a little content ID, subscriptions, what type of uh, format it is. And then here's the important thing. This line right here, the stream URL. If you don't have this, your, your Roku will not play any videos. So as you can see here, I'm pointing to an old directory here. 
I'm going to make one slight change. I'm going to put my video on Amazon. Since I have an account there, I'm going to change this URL to my CloudFront distribution. If you see it down here at the bottom here. So I'm going to copy that out. And I'm going to paste it in. So now I have my URL that's going to come from my CloudFront distribution. This is going to allow me to load it a little bit faster. If you don't have a lot of content, using your uh, normal website CDN should suffice. Uh, but if you know you're going to have a lot of uh, viewers, it's nice to have a CDN that would help with streaming media. So let's save this. And we're done. So next, we're going to upload these two to our uh, CDN, or for my case, my website uh, um, domain. And then on the next tutorial, I'm going to show you how to package all of this content together. One last thing I did forget. In terms of your packaging, we have one more thing to look at, and that are the images. So if you notice here on the root level of my directory, I have these two images here. These two images are going to be very important later on because they are going to be uploaded to Roku.com when you make your channel uh, available to other users. And one last thing. Inside the video player, there needs to be this images folder. These images are the images that came with the uh, video player uh, inside the Roku SDK. These are these are default. You can always go in and change these, as I did, um, and I'm going to show you that in the next tutorial how I change all these graphics. I won't go into detail about how I uh, change them exactly, but I will show you that they're changed. They're unique to my channel, and you can do the same thing too.